Madeline, let's start with you. What did you make of his comments? Well, I think what's significant about them is that actually the church has been struggling to communicate a message for a very long time now. And finally, this Pope has managed to say something very powerfully and yet very succinctly, which is nobody should be, should be judged on the grounds of their sexual orientation. And I think it's a wonderful thing that this has happened. A wonderful thing, Jack. But, but he does then go on to maybe contradict himself by saying acts of homosexuality are still a sin. So he is kind of judging people, isn't he? It doesn't seem to be there's been a huge amount of progress from him. Well, he's just repeating what was in the catechism from 1992, which is we should never discriminate against anybody and that the homosexual inclination is blameless as far as the Catholic Church is concerned. The Catholic Church doesn't agree with homosexual sex. But, but people, we should not marginalize anybody. And he, in fact, said, who am I to judge? They are my brother. They, they, they should be integrated in society. They are like everyone else. There should not be any discrimination, any unjust discrimination of any kind. So do you think that he's just communicating, Madeleine, this better than maybe other previous pontiffs who seem to be very buttoned up about the issue? Yeah, I think he's good at um, communicating the yes rather than the no, generally, as a pope. I mean, he takes a very pastoral approach. He wants to, to, us to see the person in the pope. That's, that's his sort of message. It's, I'm just like you, I'm a human being, I'm in no position to judge, prejudge or discriminate against anybody. So I think he's just trying to communicate the positive you know, teachings of the Catholic Church. And he's doing it wonderfully well. And as we've seen in Rio, you know, three million people turning out to see him. He's so popular. He resonates so well with people. And they really see a human being and not just, you know, a man in a, in a white hat. So for people who are getting excited about his comments, maybe they shouldn't because actually nothing's changed, Jack. Is, is that what you're saying? Well, it, also, there's another thing here, which is that this, we're not hanging up, we're hung up on this particular issue as, mm -hmm. People seem to think we are. Uh, you know, he, it's taken all this time before he mentioned the word gay um, or, or gay mm. people. Okay. And, 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 and he spent all the time up to now talking about other more important things in his mind, like poverty. You know, we must have a church which is poor for the poor and giving an example, you know, leading from the front. Mm. I mean, you say it's more important, but I think people who are part of that community and who are also Catholics think it's incredibly important, don't they? And I must read out a comment or a statement from the gay rights group Stonewall. They say they're baffled by the Pope's comments. They say, while many lesbian, gay and bisexual Catholics will no doubt welcome this change of tone, the Pope's criticism of those who lobby for gay equality sounds baffling when his church still lobbies ferociously worldwide against gay people's basic human rights. What would you say to that, Madeleine? Well, I, I think that that's, that's a mistake. I mean, of course, it's always interesting to hear what Stonewall have to say on the issue because obviously they're very, very interested in it. They're expert in it. But I think that, you know, the Pope's message is, is so much more broad than that. I mean, consider, for example, what he also said about women. He said that women's role is not just in the home. They're not just mothers. And again, this is another thing that the church has teach, taught for ages. But no priest. But he's finally communicating uh, it. But the door is firmly closed. That's right, Jack, but, isn't but it? So again, a half say, measure. But Well, he did say we, we have been talking about whether they can read. We've been talking about two, two small things. We, have, we need a deep theology of womanhood. He mm. said the church is feminine and the, the Madonna was more important than any apostle. So in a way, he said, we need much more here than what we've had before. His first foreign trip abroad, no doubt you'll think it's a great success and wonderful pictures actually coming out of Brazil. I think three million people on the beach there. And Madeleine, as a young Catholic, are you very kind of warmed by what you saw? Because it seems to be a, certainly a big revival of the Catholic Church in that area of the world. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I was at the last World Youth Day with Pope Benedict, and I have to say he was incredibly popular too. Um, but indeed, I mean, this Pope, he clearly had a head start being a Latin American Pope in Brazil. But <laughs> nevertheless, he's, he's greatly loved by the young. He really is. Madeleine, Jack, thank you very much for your thank thoughts you. tonight.